So first, congratulations, Andre. It's a, a, a big win for you. How are you feeling? Honestly, I'm a little disappointed in my performance. I am a perfectionist, and I was hoping that I could have been more dominant than that. Okay. Um, so I just kind of want to address the big thing here. Uh, you've mentioned previously that kind of fighting is a sanctuary for you, competing <laughs> is a sanctuary, I guess. Uh, seems like you've had a pretty tumultuous kind of last year in your personal life. So what did it feel like to get back out there and, and in that sanctuary? It always feels amazing and, and it's incredible. And I love that I can, that I have this and that I can be doing this. You know, I, I'm, I'm lucky to be, you know, one of the small percentages in the world that's can call this their career, you know? So, I mean, like, I enjoy it. I enjoy every single bit of it, all the ups and the downs, you know, this is, this is, this is life, you know? Fantastic. Um, and did any of that kind of those personal troubles, how did that influence you in your preparation for this? That It always pushes me, even, you know, it, it continues to push me, you know, and I continue to grow and learn from it and, you know, just prove, you know, that I can handle all the hard things, you know, and, and you know, I do have to make sacrifices and so does everybody that, that does, you know, that is a professional athlete, you know, we got to make sacrifices, but it pushes me day in and day out, you know, because I want the best for my child and through this, I can give that to her. Awesome. So uh, let's talk about the fight now. Mm -hmm. I know you're a little disappointed in your performance. With the first round, it, it kind of looked like you had a hurt, uh, hurt at one point. Um, I think it was a left hook, but forgive me if I'm mistaken. How, how hurt was she? Did you ever feel like you were close to kind of getting her out of there? You know, she was tough the entire fight. I knew that she was going to be, you know, she's, she's had a lot of tough fights and she's been able to push through and persevere, you know, the way that I have. And, um, I knew that it wasn't going to be an easy one. Um, I was hoping not to be taken down as many times as, but she is a good wrestler. She's an incredible wrestler. Um, but, um, you know, I felt like I'd hurt her a couple of times to the body and I, I feel like I should have continued to go back to the body. And I think that that's where I probably would have been more successful. Um, I was throwing too many ones. And two's not not enough big combinations, you know, like punches and bunches, like I should have. Um, if she was hurt, I didn't notice it. You know, she hit it well. So, uh, what kind of prevented you from throwing those those punches and bunches? Was it just something you were feeling, or just kind of got out of your game plan a little bit? Uh, you know, maybe I was just more um, trying to be too cautious of her takedowns. I wasn't, you know, I, I going into the fight, you know, I told myself, you know, that just just stick to you, you know, myself, you know, and be confident in in my own game plan and my own weapons. But, you know, as soon as you get into the cage, you know, sometimes things changes. Depends on, you know, the way that you feel the person out. She ended up being successful in, you know, the first, her first couple of takedowns. So that kind of made me more cautious than I should have been. You know, I, it, it, she, she, she kind of had me on the toes, on my toes there. And, uh, and, and, and letting her do that, it kind of controlled me in the sense that I wasn't throwing those punches and bunches, you know, because I, I was too cautious of what she was going to do, you know, and that's not the best way to go into a fight. Mm -hmm. Um, so obviously you have a ranking, which is great. Number 10, I believe, uh, she was just slightly behind you. Where do you think this kind of win over a, a fellow ranked competitor puts you? I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, I don't expect it to catapult me too far into the rankings. Um, you know, if I move up a rank, you know, that's great. You know, maybe I'm number nine. I hope I stay in the top 10, you know, that would be great. Um, I don't really keep up with the rankings as much. I just enjoy doing this, you know, and I love fighting and eventually I'm going to make it you know, I'm going to be the best, you know, and that's, that's my goal. But for now, like, I just enjoy this. So um, your goal, obviously, everyone's goal is to be the best. You do seem to have a pretty uh, kind of measured, tempered way to approach that. You're not trying to rush it. But the fact of the matter is your division's pretty open, and mm -hmm. you're on one of the longest winning streaks in it, three fights now, um, three good wins, three impressive performances. Uh, I, I know you want to temper expectations here, but how long do you think it would take you to get kind of into that title contention picture? You know, like you said, it is kind of open. So I don't know, you know, if I if I get a, a couple of uh, top ranked opponents, you know, and, you know, saying I win those fights, I think that it would throw me up there, you know, in that, the, the op, you know, like to the opportunity to be able to fight for the, the title shot. Um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the people, you know, that get those title shots, you know, and the, and the champions, once they've achieved that, you know, it's kind of like, well, you know, they of course they have to continue to defend it. But then like, you know, like once you achieve that, it's like, well, what else is there, you know? So, I mean, I'm not in a rush because I don't, like, I just, I love chasing it, you know what I mean? I love climbing that ladder. But, you know, that would be pretty awesome if, you know, I end up getting another top rank opponent and I'm able to win that fight and become the top five, you know? That would be awesome. So, after the fight, you were speaking with Michael Bisping. You didn't give a name. Do you have any name now? Who who gets you to the next rung of that ladder? 
<sighs> like I said, I don't like to give names. I don't know why. It's just not, it's just not me. You know, I think that everybody in the top 10 is an incredible, you know, they're incredible fight fighters and they're incredible future opponents, you know. So, I mean, anybody is, is somebody that I want to fight. Uh, last thing for me here. You just had a title fight announced for your division. Kind of how do you see that uh, playing out? Do you have any thoughts on that at all? Liz Carmo, she is a very tough fighter. You know, I've, I've got to train with her, you know, and, I, and her fight, you know, with with um, with um, with Ronda Rousey. You know, she almost got that when she became close to getting that. But she's just really tough, you know. And uh, obviously we know that Valentina is incredibly tough. And maybe, I don't know, I don't want to say tougher, but her striking is incredible like it's perfect you know I, I think it's perfect um i think it's gonna be a good fight you know i don't think she's gonna be able to put liz